A stunning property is for sale and carefree. A house that is built on boulders. And it has a really unique Hollywood connection too. Briefly serving as a movie set for the last film made by Orson Welles. Fox 10's Brian Webb gives us the tour. Wedged into a canyon, built on a bridge, and bolted onto boulders. Welcome to the Slingman House in Carefree, Arizona. I love it. It's like living at a resort all the time. Catherine has lived here for four years after inheriting the house from a former boss. Four bedrooms and three bathrooms surrounded by cliff walls built by boulders that reach to the sky and sometimes defy gravity. Plus, possibly the most private pool in America. It's very private. You know, I can um, I can say this, but I can come out here naked and just jump yeah. in the pool and nobody can see me. It's um, it's very different. Now this is how they're starting to put the rebar in for the pool. These are pictures of the home being built in 1970. From the bridge carried in by crane to the swimming pool actually suspended above ground. And walkways carved from stone with steps leading every which way even to the top where the views will make your head spin. Nobody would buy this lot because everybody said it's unbuildable. You've got such massive boulders here. How are you going to build it? The cost of excavating would be unbelievable. Speaking of cliffhangers, Orson Welles once rented this house, promising not to film here. When they flipped on the Hollywood set lights, their cover was quickly blown. They came back in. There were Louis XIV rare antique desks floating in the pool. They had filmed a big party scene. There was a car that had crashed into part of the casita. The house was a mess, and they got it all cleaned up, of course. So the story goes that Orson Welles left behind a little souvenir, his size 68 underwear. So on the anniversary of his eviction, they would run him up the flagpole and have a little fun in his honor. And since walls can't talk, the stories are now part of Carefree legend. You can look right through to the pool on the other side. But still add to the reputation of this house on the rocks. It makes you feel Hollywood, you know what I mean? I feel kind of Hollywood when, I'm, when I pull in and when I walk up to the house and stuff. It's just a special feeling. So if a stunning property north of $4 million is up your alley, the Slingman house is hard to beat. The bridge, the boulders, and a bit of Hollywood history as an added bonus. Brian Webb, Fox 10 News. That is something else. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, and Orson Welles' final motion picture, The Other Side of the Wind, was finally released in 2018, more than 30 years after his death. Yeah, you can watch it right now. It's on Netflix.